Tomorrow it's uh, going to be the big historic vote in the European Parliament on the reform of the common fisheries policy. And my expectations, well, I think we get support for a very good and sustainable reform. We have a photo action after the final vote has been taken, so when we're approaching you could all look at me and if I look happy, then you will all have a specially customized uh, like uh, posters on your desk. C'est quasiment une révolution à l'échelle européenne parce que pour la première fois, une politique économique dépend maintenant directement d'un critère écologique, à savoir l'état de la ressource qui conditionne les autorisations de pêche, les quotas, les, les, les possibilités de s'adonner à une activité. Et, et ces possibilités, en fonction de l'état de la ressource, vont permettre aux métiers de la pêche, aux hommes qui, 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 qui en dépendent de cette, de cette ressource, d'être de, de, beaucoup plus à l'aise dans, dans leur métier parce que la ressource le poisson va revenir. This vote shows that the parliament is ready uh, to follow a reasonable strategy for fisheries. We are ready to protect the fish stocks and in the same time to achieve better conditions for fishermen and people who live on fish around the world, not only in Europe. Es una victoria histórica en una votació histórica. Hem garantit salvar els peixos i per tant també salvar aquella part del sector que vol fer bé les coses. Calia un gest d'aquestes dimensions, l'hem aconseguit fer i ara esperem que els governs escoltin el clam de la ciutadania representat avui al Parlament Europeu perquè facin allò que cal fer, que és precisament salvar els peixos per salvar la pesca, per salvar una activitat que és més necessària que mai. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy. I'm almost in shock. I think we won almost all our important points and uh, some extra pluses. So it's, it's really, really gone very well over our expectations, actually. The next battle for uh, the European Parliament uh, is close. We have to convince uh, the member states, the governments of the member states to follow our example. Because sustainable development uh, of fisheries is only possible if they respect the fundaments we created today for sustainable pathway on uh, fishery.